when they put us in slavery, right, they had shackles on us. Right. They were beating, right. beating our customs, our traditions out of us, right? Beating our language out of us. Now, when they took the chains and shackles off, we were mentally destroyed. Exactly. Now, we have to think ourselves. Now, now, see, that's why we out here. Right. Because right. now we out here because now we know. And that's why I'm out here. Because exactly. I see y'all. Right. But I'm old bad son, y'all. I say, let me see what's going on. Now, I'm seeking now. Now that you you, you broke yourself, you you knew you was Israel though. But the thing is, we have to come back to the law. Everybody yeah. say Israel, but everybody is not Israel. That's true. But if you are, if your spirit bear witness with the spirit that you know you are son of a God, you're supposed to be keeping the laws. Right. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 15. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And they give it light unto all that are in the house. So now, you're supposed to be the light. To give uh, light to everybody that's in the house. That's just showing an example. Like us. We are here showing an example of how our people should live. How our people should walk. How our people should talk. You understand what I'm saying? That's us being the light. Keep reading. Verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. See, so that's why we got to let our light shine. That's why we got to keep the laws is the light. So by us keeping the laws, people gonna see that we different. They gonna see that we eat different. We do things differently because we're a peculiar people to God. Right. right. So we and different. That's, and that's what I meant when I said to you, not by just walk someone walking down the street. Just by community, I can communicate with his brother and then I can tell who he is. If he's in here. That's what I meant when I said that to you. But, but see, you would have to speak to him. Right. In order to know that. See, I, can see, see, I can see this brother walking down the street with friends. Oh, he is real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what I'm trying to get right. point to. You. Right. That's why you're supposed to be wearing these friends. Because remember, this yeah. is the book of the commandments of God. That's right. And we got to come back to this. Judges chapter 5 verse 11. They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the place of drawing waters, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. I see right there. That's what you were talking about, us being in captivity. Right? So in order for us to avoid the business that's going to be coming, we have to start rehearsing the righteous acts. That's what we're doing now. That's why brothers got beards. That's why brothers ain't shaving their heads. That's why brothers wear fringes. That's why we keep in the Sabbath day home. Right. You know, there's no cooking, cleaning, working. Or buying on the Sabbath, right? right? That's right. We gotta come back to God's law. Because that's the only thing that's gonna clean up our community. That's the only thing that's gonna get us out of the conditions we in. And that's the only thing that's gonna save us when Christ comes. That's right. Because you say you believe in the Bible. And you know he's coming back, right? So you wanna make sure you write with him when he comes back, right? Right. You too, right, Paul? That's right. We all should, right? But the Bible prophesies that two thirds of us gonna be put to death. Right. Cause we ain't gonna come back. We ain't, we gonna hear the word, but we ain't gonna hearken to it. I'm gonna read something to you right now. Cause I'm looking at you right now, and I can see that you're in the midst of sin. Right? Read. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their heads. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beards, nor make any cuttings in their flesh. You understand that? All right. Read it again. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So the Most High God says we're not supposed to make baldness upon our head, meaning shave our head, because that's not our custom. That was a custom of Egypt. So that's why the, the, the laws had to be uh, uh, re reintroduced to us in Leviticus. Because when he brought us out of Egypt, we still had the customs of the e Egyptians. Right. So now we have to be taught all over again. And that's why we are here today. Because our people have to be taught all over again. Because uh, Christianity tells us we don't have to uh, forget the Old Testament. The Old Testament done away with. That's what all the laws are. What? Right? It is They shall not make boldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. So I'm going to be honest with you. I used to be one of the people that shaved my head. I used to shave my head. You know? No. There is a choice. See, I don't shave mine no more. I let my hair grow where it grows. 
Because that's what the Bible says to Right. Now, when we know we Israel, we're commanded to do what the Bible says to These other nations don't have to do that. But you get a chosen people, you have to. They shall not make bondage upon their head. So how do you make bondage upon your head? How do you make bondage upon your head? You shave it. That's making bondage upon your head. That's a sin. That's a sin. Hell is a condition, but you will burn in the lake of fire. Yes, you will. Hey, Jesus has it. That's why, that's why it's free. Remember, we was following the customs of Egypt. Right. So God said, read it again. They shall not make borders upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Trying to tell you, I was the same way. I was putting the razor to my head. I was wearing the gold teeth. I was doing that because uh, society teaches you to be clean cut. People right. want to look like uh, Michael Jordan. You know what no, I'm just saying? Some people are ashamed because of their hairline. So you shave your head. I was one of them, bro. Shaved off my head because I didn't want people to say I was going wrong. I'm going to show you. Because a lot of people, they want to hear things in the Bible, right? And they say, well, you know, I feel this way, I feel that way. No. You know, because, see, when we got free will, right? We got free will to make our own mind, right? But you being a chosen people, you have to live a certain way because you're different. Right? You ain't like everybody else. The most high God made us a certain way for a reason. Do what you got. Baruch chapter 4 and verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God. And the law that endure forever, all they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn ye, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, therefore, that thou mayest be illuminated. Hear that? This is, read it again. This is a book of the commandments of God. So this is the book of commandments. A commandment is a order. Right. So if you know that you're an Israelite and you uh, uh, a child of God, you got kids? You got three. If they don't follow your rules at home, they get punished, right? They have to follow your rules because that's your house. Right. You, you, you're the father. You're the dad. So God is our father. So this is what he's saying about his book. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life. He said, this is the law that endures forever. It was written thousands and thousands of years ago, years ago, but it is it, still in effect today. Right. So what he says, don't make borders on your head. You know what I did? I stopped making borders on my head. You know why? Because I fear his judgment. I fear his judgment. See? But such as leave it shall die. So he's saying when you come back to his law, statutes, commandments, that's what's going to cause you to live. When Christ comes, that's what's going to cause you to live. Let's go back to Leviticus. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. They shall not make baldness upon their head. So our Father, who are in heaven, said we should not make baldness upon our head. Don't look like the Egyptians. Because you know the reason they did that? They shaved their eyebrows, beard, and everything because they was full of homosexuality. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because when you shave your beard off, what you trying to look like? Men have beards, right? Men have beards. Boys, boys can't grow a beard, right? That, that's how you know the, a man from a boy. You, you see the progress in their age by their beard growth. Put a clean face. You try to look like a child, but you don't. God says that we're not supposed to shave our head or make bodice on our uh, the broad corners of our beard. Paul, remember when you were saying that not all Israel is Israel? Israel that fear the Most High God, they gonna hearken to His word. Right. Them that don't fear the Most High God, they gonna make reasons to do what they want to do. The Book of John, chapter ten, in verse. 26, start 26. But ye believe not, because ye are not of my sheep, as I said unto you. My sheep hear my voice. Uh, what? My sheep hear my voice. This is Christ speaking. He said what? My sheep hear my voice. And I know them, and they follow me. 
and I give unto them eternal life. Hear that? Read it again. My sheep hear my voice. Christ said his sheep hear his voice. So when I heard it, I stopped. I stopped. Not because, you know what I'm saying, it made me look a certain way. You know, some women like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why we shave our face. That's why we look a certain way to attract women. So when I what? My sheep hear my voice. When I heard Christ's voice, I immediately stopped. Because his judgment is death. Basic is, like this here is a basic instruction for a living term. If you want to live eternally, you got to follow everything that's in you. Everything. We can't question it. Because his thoughts are not our thoughts. His ways are not our ways. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.